Welcome in all my friends. This is Lazy Retired Granny. Today's date is Thursday, April 6, 2023. It's about 4.30 a.m. here in Salem, Oregon. And I started working on this new canvas of Elegant Lady. It's a 30 by 40 centimeter, 23 colors. I bought it from Amazon. I was going to look when I bought this. Okay, so I bought this back. Hmm. I think it was July. August, <clears throat> August 3rd, 2022, I paid $8.98 for it, and it was a two-pack of Elegant Ladies, full canvas, round drills, yeah, so... While I was waiting for the video to upload last night, I did a few of the eyes, which is a lot of color blocking with the eyes. And I was going to just do all the color blocking first, but then I changed my mind and decided just to work the canvas the way I usually do, which is bottom up. And that'll be fine. But this bottom part down here, right here, wow. That is craziness. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of light colors and whatnot and a bit of a challenge to see the lettering but I think this is the only part of the canvas that's like that and it's part of her dress So that's what I'm working on right now. And I will probably miss some of the letters and have to go back and add them. So I have to kind of concentrate on this part. I was trying to figure out, okay, which colors can I do to kind of stand out the ones that are a little bit lighter, but I don't know. I Just uh, go with the flow. Yeah, but I think this is the only part that's like it, so. But the detail to this, I think is gonna be beautiful. And not all canvases are going to be super easy to do. Got to have a little bit of a challenge. So 
yeah, after I did my video last night, I um, was waiting for it to upload, so I thought, well, I'll just work on this. Yeah, I don't know if it's the weather or what, but... It is taking a while to upload videos, so. <laughs> it's raining outside. I was really hoping Ellie and I could go out for a walk, but we'll see. There's an F I missed. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to rain all day. We went out yesterday for about 15 minutes and I let her sniff around and so maybe today she can get out in between rain April showers bring May flowers. Sorry, I'm having to concentrate on this a little bit. Uh, Oh, which reminds me, I have a tip of the day for you. So I was watching Jeffrey Morrison, and he had apparently a canvas that the adhesive wasn't good, or it was non-existent or something, I don't know. But... <clears throat> His trick <clears throat> of making it sticky again so the drills will you know, stick on there is you take a little dab of baby oil and you rub it on the canvas and let it dry and it'll be sticky again. And I guess you can also use, you know, the baby wipes. So just a little tip there that I'll pass on. I'd never heard of that before. That's what I like about the diamond painting community is that you do learn little tips of the trade. That's why I like watching 
whipping chats. You never know what you might find out. Those are my favorites to watch. Ross over at um, Smells Like Yarn or um, I can't remember. That's what I know him by. I think it might be I I don't know. He's got a couple different handles that he uses, but I think you can find him under smells like yarn. But um His older videos aren't there anymore. He took them down. But um, he had, when he was doing his diamond painting videos, <clears throat> I got a lot of good ideas from him. And we kind of started diamond painting at the same time, I think. But his brain is always thinking... He thinks outside the box and comes up with all these great ideas. So a lot of what I do in my diamond painting, I've just, not a lot, but some, I've picked up from him. Although he does not diamond paint as much as I do. He mostly does knitting and crocheting and stuff with the yarn. But every once in a while he'll do a PR unboxing and he'll show a completed diamond painting. But if you are into crocheting and knitting and whatnot, he is a good person to watch. I'm looking for H's. <laughs> All right, well, if I missed any, I can pick them up later. I'm a little stuffy this morning. I don't know if it's because of this change in the weather again. I mean, we've been having rain, but it's it's kind of weird. It's um different air pressures or something. That affects my allergies. Well, anyway, I getting back to Ross over at Smells Like Yarn. Um, he has a bunch of patterns that he um, has made up. They're all knitting right now, but he did mention that he may have some crochet patterns. And he's a very down-to-earth guy. Most of his yarns come from... Um, you know, like Premier Yarns 
Kirshner's, Mary Maxim. He belongs to a lot of Mary Maxim clubs. He's the one that got me started in the monthly knitting club and then the um, quarterly Afghan knit club. I don't subscribe to them anymore. I just got more yarn than a person needs to have. And I just felt that I need to use what I have. Yeah, the blanket that I'm, or throw, that I'm doing now, that I'm knitting, um, that I showed on my video a couple videos ago that is from a Mary Maxim quarterly Afghan kit that I got a couple years ago I've got all these kits and I've never well I've never done so I need to do those And Ross, his patterns are, he has a lot of hat patterns, scarves, um, they're pretty basic patterns, but they're fun to do because they're not complicated, they're pretty easy. So I've done a lot of his patterns, they're my go-to. He has dishcloths and, um... I've done his dad, um, hat patterns, but hats are not my favorites. I do not like knitting in the round. Well, knitting in the round is okay. It's using the DPNs that get me every time. Ugh. Just not my favorite. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I was watching Jeffrey Morrison in one of his whipping chats, and I was eating while I was I was watching, which I'm usually diamond painting when I'm watching his videos, and I've never really. You know, he's diamond painting and I'm diamond painting. So I don't really watch him diamond paint. But anyway, I was watching him yesterday while I was eating. And I thought, wow. He, when he diamond paints, he, you know, starts at the bottom. But he starts here and works down. And I thought that was real interesting. I tend to work from the bottom up, <laughs> if that makes sense. Maybe it was just a section he was, he was doing a lot of three tens. He was doing some color blocking and So yeah, everybody has their own style of diamond painting. There's really no wrong or right way. 
as long as you put the drills down where they're supposed to be. And it's never a race to see who can finish a diamond painting first. Everybody goes at their own pace. It's supposed to be fun, relaxing. Sometimes I feel uh, I don't know the word <clears throat> that maybe people feel that I'm in a race doing diamond paintings, but I'm not. It's just I just enjoy it so much that And I don't work outside the home. And I'm a homebody, so I have a lot of time to diamond paint. Now, when the weather gets nicer, I'll be outside a lot more. So my diamond painting will be slowed down. I do like to have Ellie out there and I want to start walking again and I'm looking for the S's. <laughs> Yeah, now this is starting to look less intimidating now that I got some of the drills down. Oop, there's another S. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now the E's are starting to pop out, so we'll do them next. E. Five. Yeah, this time I'm not doing them in order, so... My only chore today is to empty all the garbages and put the garbage can out for the garbage man in the morning. Our garbage man comes like 6 in the morning. So I put it out the night before.
this is starting to go a little bit faster now. Now the letters are starting to pop. Yeah, this canvas has letters only. They're all in caps. So that makes it a little bit easier to read. Now the ends are starting to pop out. And the X's. This is a <clears throat> more light colored canvas. So. Time for a sip of coffee. What do I want to do next? X eleven. I see some I missed. I missed some J's and an F. Yeah, it's coming right along like this. Well, I am going to continue on here with this part. And probably once I get this part done, then I'll do another whip and chat with you. You can keep my company while I'm diamond painting. I always enjoy that. And I enjoy all your comments. Makes me smile. I love this little community that we have. Just a lot of really nice people that stop by. I appreciate that. I'm glad I met a bunch of new friends. So I will talk with you all later. Happy diamond painting.